Welcome to the Williams County Community Gardening Association. I'm Kathy and we're at the North Williams Street Garden in Bryan, Ohio. And today we are going to talk about purple dead nettle, friend or frenemy. This is purple dead nettle and this is henbit. And people often get these two confused, although I don't know how, but they're not related. So we'll be right back. Today we're talking about purple dead nettle. It's also called red dead nettle, purple archangel, and red henbit. It's in the mint family and it gets about 16 to 18 inches tall. And it's a fierce competitor and you do not want it in your vegetable garden. It has low maintenance and it can take over everywhere. And it's adaptable to almost any habitat other than dark shade or very wet soils. It's located throughout the United States, but it's native to Europe and Asia. Though it's called a dead nettle, unlike the common nettles, they don't sting. So you can handle them and it, it won't hurt your hands or uh, affect your skin. They tend to grow in an area where the soil has been disturbed. The nectar of the flower is attractive to bees and other pollinators. It has a square stem that's how you can tell it's in the mint family because of that square stem. And the flower colors vary from pink to a pink purple to a mauve to a reddish purple. And the upper leaves are usually more red purple than the lower leaves. It also has a tap root and reproduction is by seed. The clusters of small hooded flowers at the top of the plant rise up like a choir of robed figures. Thus, it's referred to as archangels. This is considered a medicinal herb that has many uses for salves, teas, and can be used in salads and cooking. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little something about purple dead nettle. Until next time, goodbye.